this stuff isn't you. The visual appearance of like a pinkish hand, that's not me. This voice, these sound waves, that's not me. And then if you drive, if you drill down in that way, you can realize none of these things are you. And there is no you. Now, what what's going on if there is no you? What's experiencing this right now? Well, there's just the one. <laughs> there's the one physical reality with its many manifestations. And they all get captivated thinking they're where it's at and they're the important ones. You know, and the James thinks he's the James and the squirrel thinks he's the squirrel. But they're like fruit on a tree. They're all just these manifestations. And for whatever reason, they have this amazing characteristic of consciousness where they can just witness this incredible unfolding. And it's awe-inspiring. And you transcend your sense of self and you see the way it all is. Because it's very simple. <laughs> the way it all is is incredibly simple. There's an unfolding process of reality and this witnessing of consciousness. That's all there is. That's all there's ever been. As far as you know, that's all there ever will be. And you can see this right now. You know, if you look down at your hand, you can appreciate perhaps that your brain is doing a trick where it's drawing a line around it, a border, and saying, that belongs to me, that's inside in some sense, that's inside James. And, you know, move one, you know, photoreceptor, one pixel, <laughs> effectively, to the left, and suddenly, nope, that's background, that's not James anymore. But we know as, you know, people who might understand, you know, have studied the retina uh, and the brain, we know there's just light falling on the retina, that's like an image, and then your brain does this trick. And it really is a trick. Now there is a form here, there is a organism, but the organism is a process. The organism takes in food and, we will get into detail with what it does with it at the other end, but um, it does all this to keep a pattern going. And it's just a ripple in reality. It's like a little funny flourish. And it can witness it and see it happen. And in doing so, in not being caught up in the game of concepts, there's full liberation from suffering, from negativity. Because suffering is a game that comes about as a result of evolution. You know, the world's falling apart because of the second law of thermodynamics. Everything's moving towards decay. And so the creatures that exist are the ones that got preoccupied with being unhappy and thirsty and doing all this other stuff. And it's on that level that suffering happens. So if you stop playing that game through meditation or you know, at the peak of a psychedelic experience, you stop playing that game and you realize, wait a minute, what's actually going on is there's the unfolding and the witnessing. And they're not two separate things, it's all just one process. And you're like, huh, that's pretty great. You know, that fits with, that's a wonderful picture of reality. That's not us alone as little nihilists on the planet, you know, really concerned about, oh, I want this universe to be for me. That's us taking a far more objective view and saying, huh, who'd have thought it? We're this weird manifestation of some strange reality that's just pro propelling itself forward through some unknown means. That seems pretty cool situation to find yourself in, you know?